Hey, welcome everybody. Glad you are here. Glad you're able to make it with us as we are having a, a, an amazing time, having a ton of fun, especially talking with some really good friends in the industry and in the automotive industry. Glad to have this opportunity for us to be together as we're going to discuss something that is on everybody's mind, which is technicians. I need technicians. If, if Jimmy pulled up outside with a big van full of technicians, I would take all of them. I know that's what you're thinking, or at least the top two or three or four, you would take them because we need technicians. We need service advisors. We need we need to fill spaces on the bus. And what we're going to talk about today is going to be awesome and amazing and centered around this idea of hiring people and keeping track of the people and no, 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 no. Then there's a lot of stuff that we need to do here. What are we talking about today? Tracking your assets, the best assets, which are your people. Your people are your best assets. Super excited to talk about this. Whoops, a little fast. My name is Jimmy Lee. I'll be the host today as we talk to Team Taylor and to Silver Lake Auto about what they're doing and how they're doing it. This is going to be awesome and amazing. This information will definitely help you. I'll be the voice for you. You've got questions. We've got answers. Go ahead and ask those questions in the Q&A, and we'll answer those here with Krista. Krista is awesome, by the way. She is so cool. Uh, Krista officially joined Silver Lake Auto Team in May of 2022 as the recruiter for Silver Lake Auto and Tire Centers. She has helped transform the company's recruiting process to be relevant, personal, and efficient. Her advice is simple. Be human. Great advice, Krista. Thank you. Over the past year, Silver Lake has added 31 new team members. By the way, that's up to date as of today because 30 days ago, it was 26. And 60 days ago, as we started putting this webinar together, it was 20. So Krista, you're freaking awesome. Holy cow, this is amazing. 31 yeah. team members. Thank you. It's It's been really fun. It's been a blast. Um, and I will say Team Taylor has definitely contributed to that success with moving candidates through the recruiting process uh, very easily and uh, helping our team members not feel overwhelmed but and informed throughout the entire process. Oh, yeah, super cool. Well, we'll talk about that here in a minute because yeah, those sure. 31 new team members allows you guys to reach new heights as a company uh, because of the, having appropriate staffing. Uh, when, uh, Chris, your background is higher education and direct sales, higher Correct. education, like college, like, like high school, yeah. like... Like what? Yeah, great question. So I used to be uh, an instructor, a professor, and uh, a college track coach at a local university. You coached track? Yeah, correct. All my siblings yeah. were pole vaulters. Okay. I love pole vaulters. They're crazy people. I could see <laughs> maybe the connection here. No, no, no. You didn't hear that. I'm not a pole vaulter. I know. My siblings are pole vaulters. <laughs> crazy people. They're fun. They're fun. Yeah, they are fun. I was the swimmer. Okay. Well, that's good. That takes swimmer. guts. I don't like swimming, so good for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. No, it was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, we can swap stories later. Yeah. When not being the company's professional extrovert, love that title, by the way, professional extrovert, is that self-imposed or was that designated? That was uh, given, ordained by Dan Garlock. Yes, the owner. Love Dan. <laughs> Dan. He had really he had a lot of fun coming up with that job title. <laughs> oh, shout out to you, Dan, professional extrovert, super awesome, um, very appropriate, by the way. Yeah, thank you. You you fit that well. She enjoys golfing with her husband Matthew and loving on their two mastiffs, spending time on the family farm. Two mastiffs. I mean, yep. these are like ginormous bear dogs, right? Correct. It's three hundred pounds of dog between the two of them. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and they probably think they're still a lap dog. They correct. They love to be the little spoon and sit on your lap and, and yes. And, and what are their names? Frankie and Bella. Frankie and Bella. And Frankie and Bella, do you do you have to get them off when your legs fall asleep? Yeah, but yeah. They yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're a lot, they're a lot to handle, but they're great. And so if you ever follow the Silver Lake Auto social media, Frankie sometimes makes guest appearance because he comes to the shops with me. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to have to get on there and check it out. Yeah. My aunt is with the, um, and this will, this is crazy. She lives in Las Vegas, yeah. St. Bernard's. Okay. Oh, that's, that's hot. Jam. 
That's hot for Las Vegas. Right. Hot, hot for Vegas and hot for these poor St. Bernards that have double coats. Yeah, correct. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, so, great. Uh, and family farm, family farm. Is this a, a functioning farm growing livestock or vegetation? What are we doing? Yeah. Great question. So growing up, it was a dairy farm and now we do a uh, young stock for both beef and Holsteins and then crop farm as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, it's way less work on my parents. It's the family farm for over 150 years. Uh, so it's, it's really cool. It's a, the classic, uh, Wisconsin, oh, Wisconsin farm homestead. So my mom, my mother grew up, a, a rancher. Okay. They, cool. They grew cattle. Yeah. Yeah. And she always sang that song, Why Can't the Farmer and the Rancher Get Along? Oh, I don't know that one. Okay, we'll have to find it and send it to you. But you've got both combined into one, both. Holstein and beef, yeah. No, they're fine. Well, well, Holstein beef, but don't you have crops too? Well, yeah, some, some crops, yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's super cool. All right, super cool. It's not so, like the crop farm out by you where it's like thousands of acres. Right, yeah. right. All right, so here comes the tricky part. All right, we're going to introduce Garrison and uh, and and uh, Team Taylor. So we're we're going to uh, hope all this works flawlessly. Here we go. And also joining me today is Garrison Perkle. Garrison, also a Sigma Chi from back east. He is the senior account executive with Team Taylor. He likes to eat food, exercise, take long walks on the beach, and will never turn down an opportunity to take a trip somewhere in North America. Garrison, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Jimmy? Oh, fabulous. Thank you very much. So excited to have you with us today to talk about Team Taylor attracting our best assets so that we can make a difference in our shops and in our business. Now, tell me, Sigma Chi, back east, where did you go to college? Yes, uh, Jimmy, I am a Sigma Chi like yourself. I went to Georgia Southern University down in beautiful Statesboro, Georgia, a very small town. You probably have not heard of it, but it is a, a fun place to go. Uh, I've probably driven somewhere close to that location or somewhere around there because I know somewhere there on the, is it the, the 72, 74, there's that... Uh, Big white cross on the freeway? Yes, there is. That's uh, closer to Atlanta, but yeah, the big white cross is right there. Very cool. I have a picture. I've been there. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I went there as well. I think it's Henry County, I believe, but yeah. Yeah, right. yeah super awesome. Super awesome. Well, Garrison, the, the, the time is yours. Let's switch this over to your computer so you can share this fabulous information with our shop owners so they can learn how to track their best assets, how to attract those new employees to them so that they can make the difference. Sounds good. Thanks, Jimmy. All right. Is it sharing your screen? Are you able to share? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Bingo. You're on, brother. Cool. So thank you, everyone. Um, again, my name is Garrison Perkle, one of the senior account executives here at Team Taylor in, in North America. A little bit about Team Taylor. We were founded in 2013 based in Stockholm, Sweden, and we have over 7,000 companies worldwide currently using the, the platform. So I'm excited to show it to you today. Uh, on my screen, you can see Silver Lake Auto. They are a current Team Taylor client. Um, and the reason I'm showing you this is because this is their career page, and it's actually built through Team Taylor as well. So Team Taylor is much more than an applicant tracking system, but it is also a career page content editing tool as well. Now, we provide this to our clients because we believe that the recruitment process starts at first impression of your brand and not at the actual application itself. I want to point out real quick the URL at the top. You won't see anything about Team Taylor uh, as this is Silver Lake's career page. So we don't want to take away from their brand. That can cause confusion in candidates and lead to candidate drop offs. So we try to eliminate that. Also, the URL, fully customizable. So if Silver Lake wants to come in here tomorrow and change it to jobs.silverlake, they can. So again, this is a live site. This is how Silver Lake is attracting so many candidates uh, and filling these open positions. You can see a little bit about the company culture at Silver Lake, um, a fun video, interactive experience for your candidates, uh, employee testimonials as well. So this lets your candidates know that your employees are happy, um, some core values at Silver Lake, uh, and then some perks and benefits uh, as to why candidates should consider working there. And then some fun photos as well. So, in order to attract candidates, we provide this tool to build a modern and interactive experience. 
So I created a mock career page for the Institute, and it could look a little bit something like this. So candidates are on your site. We're not, you know, writing code or developing websites or anything like this. This is not replacing your website. This is simply going to stem off of your main site. So as a candidate, I come to the Institute's career page. I can see this video playing in the background. You can also have an image uh, as Silver Lake did. So I can scroll down. Why should I consider joining the Institute? Uh, cool statistical piece here for your candidates. This people section, I personally really like. It kind of personalizes the recruitment process, helps me put a face to the name uh, as to who I'm speaking with, either on the other end of the phone or on Zoom in person. Uh, again, employee testimonials. So this is letting your candidates know that your employees are happy. Culture piece, uh, as well as some images over here for your candidates to scroll through, maybe from the different locations or company events. We've got our open positions here. We've got the job title, department, where it's located or locations. And then if you had a hybrid or a remote role, we could list that out there as well. I really like this timeline piece. This kind of puts into perspective the origins of our company or our shop, where we're at today, and then maybe expectations for the future. You can also have landing pages stem off of your career site. So this could be great if you want to talk about a specific department, if you want to have a landing page specific to another location or a specific type of job, totally up to you. And then we can have our social media listed uh, on the career site as well. So your candidates can actually scroll directly on your Facebook page, for example, on your career page. We can have a company map. So this could list out all the locations for your candidates. For example, if I was in New York, I see the number three here. So I could click that and see the three open positions that are geographically near me. And again, you can have a video in here, cool marketing video, maybe employee testimonial, totally up to you. So now for your candidates, you can see we have two options. Uh, we can connect or click on job openings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect here. So connect is a really cool function of Team Taylor. Basically what this means is as the candidate, I think the Institute would be a great company to work for, but I didn't see a position that I feel like I would be the best fit for today. So by connecting, I'm subscribing to future openings for a specific type of role. So let's say that that type of role is a sales representative. I'm going to click continue, and then I can connect with the Institute via email, Facebook, or LinkedIn. So I'm going to select LinkedIn here. Now that I've connected with the Institute, a couple of things will happen. The first, I'm now in the actual ATS, the applicant tracking system. My candidate card has now been transitioned over to the ATS, and you'll be able to see that I've connected with you because I'll have a connected tag. So Team Taylor is going to keep all your candidates nice and organized. Um, but the real beauty in the connect piece, let's say that in six months time, this sales representative role opens up, your system will automatically notify all the candidates that have connected for that type of role about the opening and then encouraging them to apply. So we're going to help you fill those positions a lot quicker as they come open. The other option for our candidates is to apply to a job we do feel like we would be a great fit for today. Let's say I think I'd be a good general manager. So I click this again, everything on this screen, fully customizable. We've got the department and the locations listed. If it was hybrid, we could list that out as well. <clears throat> Even the apply in one minute buttons customizable. If you wanted to say apply now, you can do that as well. As I'm reading over the job description, you'll see that that apply button's following me because we're not sure when our candidates are going to be ready to apply, but we do want to make it as easy as possible for them to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and click the apply button here. So we're brought to the application for the general manager role. Obviously, fully customizable. Uh, you can see we have mandatory and optional questions here. Do I have relevant education? I'm going to say yes. Which of the following do I have experience with? Let me say I have experience with all three X, Y, and Z. How many years of relevant work experience do I have? I'm going to say that I have 10. Team Taylor actually provides you the ability to format one of your application questions in video format. This allows you to get a feel for candidates' personality, help you put a face to the name. Uh, totally up to you. You could use it on none of your applications, all of your applications, or, or maybe some specific to a certain type of role. So I'm going to skip it for now because it's optional, as well as these. Locations mandatory, so I'm going to select that I'm in New York. Now I'm going to upload my resume. Once my resume has been uploaded, I can now submit my application for the general manager role. Team Taylor wants our candidates to celebrate the accomplishment of applying to a new job. So we're going to throw some confetti on their screen to make the application process as fun as possible. 
And that is the candidate side of Team Taylor. So we had the first impression of your brand on your career page. Then we had the connect piece to basically show interest in future openings and then the actual job application um, today. Now we will transition over to the actual ATS itself. So everything you're gonna see from here on out, your candidates would never see. This screen is what we refer to as the Team Taylor dashboard. Uh, anytime you wanna come back to this view, you click that pink T in the top left corner. But this is kind of like a bird's eye view of everything going on in your organization in terms of recruitment. We can see any jobs we're working on, any recent applicants, to-dos, uh, upcoming meetings. So we can integrate with your Gmail or your Outlook. So not only can you see what interviews you have upcoming, you can also schedule them from this widget as well. And then it's your dashboard, so you should be able to, to decide what is visible when you log in. And by doing that, you click this widget library. Let's say we don't care to see product updates, so we're going to click that X. Um, but we want to see information around the latest hire. So we're going to drag that widget up to the top, select that widget library button again, and now that information is on the dashboard. Going to take a look at our jobs here. Currently in our system, we have six jobs. We know that these jobs are live and published to our career site because they have a green dot by them. For this general manager, we have one new application. There are five candidates in the inbox stage. Two are currently being screened. One is in the interview. There have been no offers for this role and no one's been hired. We can see when it was created, the location or locations, and then who's the responsible recruiter for the role. Now, oftentimes shops have more than one location or more than one department. So this filtering capability here is going to be extremely helpful when you're looking for a specific type of job. Let's say you wanna look at all the jobs at location one, you can do that. You wanna look at all your sales roles, you can do that as well. Now, one more valuable piece uh, that Team Taylor offers our clients is the ability to push jobs automatically for free to job boards when we create them. So let's pretend that I just created this general manager position here. Team Taylor calls the uh, push of jobs to job boards promote. So I'm gonna click this button. Now, these are grayed out because the site's not live, but when your site is live, it won't be grayed out for you. So we just created the general manager position and we wanted to go to Google, Indeed, LinkedIn. We can select those options and now the job will be carried uh, to those avenues for us to help us attract um, more attention to the job and attract more candidates to the job. The next thing is the actual workflow customization within Team Taylor. It's extremely easy to customize these workflows. So that's uh, these stages here. So these should mirror your actual recruitment process. We can customize every stage on the screen except inbox and hired as we call those the goalposts. So you can change everything in between. So let's say that you wanted to put the screening stage instead of the phone screen for the first stage. We could click and drag that here. Let's say that we wanted to add a second phone screen. We can scroll to the right, click add stage. We're gonna call it second phone, add the stage, and now it's a part of our process. If you wanna delete a stage, you just click the three dots and then you scroll down to delete stage and then the stage will be taken out for you as well. Now, in terms of candidate movement, super easy. Uh, we can click on a candidate and drag them. So Lindsay needs to be in the screening stage. The change has been made. We can click on a candidate name here, which were then brought to the candidate card. Um, so this is basically housing all the candidate information and I'll explain this to you in a moment. But at the bottom of every candidate card, you can see what stage that candidate is in. So Cassidy's in the inbox stage. We want Cassidy to be in the phone. So we're gonna select the phone. We're gonna exit out of our candidate card. And now the change has been made. Now, the third way to move candidates is more automated. Um, and that function is called a trigger. So Team Taylor offers triggers, and it's basically automated actions that you've designed Team Taylor to do for you. This is going to add a tremendous amount of efficiency to your process uh, and help you capture candidates a lot quicker. So you might notice that Garrison started in the interview stage. Even though I just applied to the general manager position, I started in the interview stage. And that's because of a trigger called a smart move. The way that a smart move works is you select the destination you'd like your candidates to go if they meet the boxes that you've designed. So for this example, any candidate that has a relevant education and experience with X, Y, and Z, all three, I want them to automatically go to the interview stage. The reason this is beneficial is because this candidate is probably applying to your shop, 
your competitors, another company down the street all at once. So if you are utilizing the smart move trigger, you're going to capture this candidate significantly faster than your competitors would or any other company in general. So when you log into your system, you see that Garrison was moved to be a smart move because of the pink dot here. And that lets you and your team know we've got to reach out to this candidate and get that interview scheduled as quick as possible. Now, regarding the candidate card, again, this is housing all information specific to the candidate. Team Taylor is great about organization. If Garrison had applied to a position a year ago and then applied today to that general manager position, it's automatically going to merge the candidates into one profile. So there's no risk of having two Garrisons floating around the system. On the left hand side, we can see any candidate tags, uh, star rating, contact information, uh, as well as a custom field. So you can have as many custom fields as you'd like. In this example, we have salary expectations. This is really cool. We can keep this information private from the rest of your team, and this information is only visible to company admins. So salary expectation would be a great example of a custom field. When Garrison applied, he selected New York on his application. We can see that this application here is for the general manager position. Here's all of Garrison's answers. If I would have done the video on the application as well, that would live over here. There's my resume. Uh, if any of your positions require any certain certifications or additional documents that you require on your application, those would also live over here. On the right hand side, this is your work area specific to this candidate. So on the activity tab, I refer to this as the candidate life cycle. This is everything that we've ever done with our candidates since the moment they've entered our ATS. So the first thing this candidate ever did was connected as a sales representative, then applied to a general manager. Every action we take from here on forward will be at the top of this list. The notes section here is great. Uh, we can communicate with our team directly within the platform. So really there's no need to leave the platform an email or text or call a colleague. We can all communicate directly in Team Taylor. So let's say that you think this is a great candidate and you wanna tag the hiring team. So we'll select the hiring team, click post. You can also tag individuals, but whoever you tag will not only receive a notification on the actual uh, system itself, but in their emails if they've enabled email notifications and also on the Team Taylor mobile app. If you wanna take it a step further, we also have the ability to leave private notes. So again, a great example of this would be salary expectations. Maybe this candidate has a specific salary expectation and not everyone in your team needs to know this information. So here's the candidate's salary expectation. If we wanna create a private note, you just click on the globe icon here, deselect everyone. You're gonna click post. And now we know that this note is only visible to company admins because of the lock icon by it. To do's, I love this feature, it keeps me organized. Let's say we were calling Garrison to schedule an interview and Garrison does not answer, so we need to call him back. So I'm gonna call this to do call back. Let's say I wanna call Garrison back tomorrow. I'm gonna click add. A Couple of things can happen. Uh, the candidate can call us back, at which point we get the interview scheduled, we can go ahead and cross it off, or tomorrow rolls around, we reach Garrison, we get the interview scheduled, we can cross it off then as well. You can also assign to do's to other members of your team. Let's say you're going on vacation tomorrow, so you're gonna need a team member uh, to take care of this to do for you. I'm gonna assign this to Alice, I'm gonna click add. Now Alice is responsible for calling Garrison back to get that interview scheduled. The review system here is a simple one to five star rating, kind of an overall impression. So not really tied to a specific interview or a specific interaction, but your overall impression of the candidate. So I'm gonna select five stars here. You'll notice back on the left-hand side, the star rating uh, is now visible on the candidate card. This is helpful for a couple of reasons. Number one, when you have hundreds of candidates in your database, you might wanna filter out to see your better qualified candidates, your four and five stars. So you can do that. Also, Team Taylor has what's called nurture campaigns, and this might prove to be very beneficial in the automotive industry. Uh, for my interactions in the past, seems like we're always looking for technicians. So what I would do, all of your candidates that have technician experience within your system, take these four and five star candidates, enroll them in what's called the Team Taylor nurture campaign. And basically we'll be doing drip marketing campaigns for your candidates to keep your shop top of mind. So they may not be an active candidate, but let's say every three months you're sending out an email saying happy holidays from us at the Institute, happy new year, a uh, lot of growth expected in Q3 of this year, be on the lookout for open positions. They can choose to unsubscribe if they'd like, but basically we're gonna keep your brand top of mind in comparison to your competitors. Interviews, this is where you're leaving feedback for your interviews now. So we don't need to do anything in Excel or Word or write anything down. 
So this is for the first interview for the general manager position. So you click leave feedback. Uh, all of this is customizable as well. So we're leaving our candidates answers here as they're giving them to us. You can have sliding scales, multiple choice, text box, as well as a scoreboard um, at the bottom. So this is customizable too. Let's go ahead and leave our feedback for Garrison. You can type a note in here, click save. And you'll notice once we've left our feedback on the left-hand side, we will be able to see our feedback now. Um, so this allows kind of an open forum conversation for you and your teammates. If maybe uh, Jimmy thought Garrison was a five for sales experience and maybe I gave Garrison a two, then Jimmy and I can have a conversation as to why we had varying opinions. And messages. So remember, notes was internal communication with you and your team. Messages is external communication with you, you your team, and your candidates. So remember, we're going to integrate with your Gmail, your Outlook, um, and now we can communicate directly in the platform. So there's no need to hop back and forth from here to your uh, email provider. We can draft an email directly here, or we can use message templates to save time. You can also include attachments directly from this screen. So if you need your employees to sign off on a document or just review an employee document, you can attach that here as well. And you can send the email now or you can send it with a delay. So I'll have this email automatically sent in three hours. Any responses from your candidates will be on the left hand side. Now, Team Taylor also has the uh, ability to text candidates as well directly from the screen. So maybe we should have a quick question or we're confirming an interview. Instead of emailing, you would just click this envelope icon at the bottom. You're going to select SMS, and then you can draft the text, and it works the same way in terms of the thread. Uh, when you sign up with Team Taylor, you get 100 free credits. There is an additional cost, nothing crazy. Uh, for 2,500 texts, $180. For 10,000 texts, it's $600. Now, the next thing I want to show you uh, is an extremely strong feature of Team Taylor. That's the scheduling feature. So Garrison is in the interview stage. We can see that at the bottom of his candidate card. So we want to schedule that interview. So I'm going to click the calendar icon at the top. This is going to enable me to put in all the settings uh, for the interview. So we can put in the location. We can put in a message to the candidate. We can also put in um, who's going to be attending the interview, um, stuff like that when it loads here. So now this is where we're putting in all the settings. So you can add a message, looking forward to meeting you, Garrison. We know that it's for the general manager position. We can add the title here. So let's say this was the first interview. Your team members are who will be present or conducting the interview. Organizer is simply setting it up. Maybe I'm setting this interview up for Jimmy. So he's a team member present. I'm just the organizer. Location, we have integrations with virtual uh, meeting rooms as well as in person. So we could select Team Taylor or Google Meet Zoom. Or when you're an onboarding, your customer success manager will help you create physical locations so we can select that. Let's say this interview will be in Austin. It's not only going to give the address to your candidates, but it will also give them Google map directions on how to get there. We can set a specific time or we could allow our candidates to self schedule as well. Uh, so to eliminate the back and forth with our candidates, they can now grab the time that works best for them. And then we just send the invite out and the meeting will be booked. Now, a couple of things can happen after we interview our candidate. We can reject them or continue them in our process. To reject a candidate, you can do it at the bottom of your candidate card. All of these reject reasons are fully customizable as well, so you select the reason. We can then send a reject message to our candidates uh, or decide not to if we don't want to. And on top of that, we can send the reject message with a delay. So this really uh, still puts a big emphasis on candidate experience. Even though we're not hiring the candidate, they could be a good fit one day. So we want to reject them as softly as possible. So let's say we want to do that tomorrow, reject with email. So tomorrow that email will be automatically sent. Um, but let's say we want to offer the position to Garrison. So we are going to take Garrison, drag him to offered. Team Taylor has the ability to actually draft offer letters directly within the platform as well. Uh, so you'll put in all the settings, the job title, the salary, start date information, whatever you'd like to include. And then your shop's logo will be sent to the candidate via email. They can click on view offer. They can sign it and accept it or decline it. And then all of that information would live on the activity tab of your candidate card. So it's all organized for you there. So let's say we send an offer to Garrison and we decide to, he accepts it. We decide to hire him. We're going to click and drag Garrison over to the hired stage. And now you get confetti too, because it's fun to fill open positions. And so we want to celebrate that uh, as well. And that is the Team Taylor applicant tracking system.
Dude, that is so awesome. That's amazing to be able to track everything in here. Oh, and by the way, Garrison, we did get your application. We appreciate the decade of experience you've had with X, Y, and Z. Uh, Ms. Wise will be reaching out with your uh, package so that we can start on Monday. Perfect. Look forward to working with you. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, Garrison. I really appreciate it. And, and I'm, I, I'm bummed that, that you have to bounce so quickly, but I really, really want you to know how much I appreciate you taking some time and, and meeting with us this morning so that we can really get acquainted with Team Taylor. So thank you very much. Travel safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Jimmy. Have a good one. Oh, technology. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Garrison. And Garrison did have to bounce. He's 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 gone. He he drops us like a dirty shirt, and he's out of here. But uh, Chris, I am so excited that you're here because you're using this system. You you've added quite a few employees. Yeah. I want to know how it's working for you. What yeah, are you doing. <laughs> um, you know, I, it's it's been a really fun journey, and so. Prior, you know, like those first couple months starting out in the recruiter role, we were just using a uh, Google Sheet and Google Docs and Google Drives and it and with a multi-shop organization and having lots of different cooks in the kitchen and fingers in the pie, you can only imagine that things got a little messy and it wasn't the greatest candidate experience. And so uh, we, and there might've been some frustrations. And so really learning about uh, Team Taylor was, the, two, the missing piece of the puzzle that we really needed to help uh, fast track our recruiting process and what we wanted to accomplish as a company, as well as give the candidate experience. And so it was really refreshing to learn about Team Taylor, to see how easy it was to use, because I am not very tech savvy, and to be able to uh, get a nice onboarding period with their, their customer success reps, and then also always having like a quick chat feature available, as well as the help desk to get the career side of the things, uh, the page set up in addition to all of our templates, how we want to do our recruiting process, our interview kits. It was it was a labor of love, um, but it was really refreshing and, and taking that time to uh, set it up for success has really allowed us to fast track and, and and really help the recruiting process tremendously. So yeah, it's it's been fun. So I <clears throat> 31 employees that you've hired this year, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, since I started. So it's since about you started. a full year, yeah. Okay. So a, a lot of shops that I go into and I talk to, they're like, oh my gosh, if I get rid of this guy, then now I'm a guy down. But you, so you're building, is, is this also building a bench? Are you building a bench with your shops? We are building a bench. Um, we are, you know, there is that, um, matriculation. And so, you know, when we, when we got really clear about who we are as a company and as our culture and what we want to stand for and what we're looking for, we are very proud and very um, passionate about that and who we are looking for. And so you can, you please go on our careers page on our team, to, you know, on our careers page on our website and take a look at it. And um, that has really helped us attract the right candidates as well as help um, maybe realize for some candidates that we're not going to be the right match for them. And so it's just really helped the recruiting process tre tremendously. And uh, like I said, it's, it's been fun and, and really just being passionate about who you are att attracts the right talent and having the confidence that we may lose some people because we are hiring the right people that were kind of hanging around before um, yeah. and just we're filling the spot. And we were hiring somebody and not, you know, the right somebody. So you were hiring people that fogged a mirror and now you're hiring the right people. Yeah. 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 We, before we were just, you know, we were grateful to have the spot filled uh, with anybody, not the right spot, you know, like the right person. Yeah. Oh, I feel that. I feel that so strong. There's a lot of shop owners that are out there, a lot of shops where they need another technician so badly that they'll take the first person that walks in with a toolbox or maybe mm -hmm. even the second person that walks in with the toolbox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's crazy dangerous too. Now, it's now so dangerous, you, especially for, especially for your high valuable productive um, 
the ones that align with your company and culture like that, that you're putting those people at risk. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. And, and your, your footprint. And when I talk about your footprint, I'm talking about um, Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. You guys have multiple locations. Yep. Four for now. Four locations for now. Plans on expanding to five to six to 10 to 20. Who knows? Yeah. Sky's we'll we'll limit. start with just the next one. We'll start with five. <laughs> Moving to five. <laughs> love it. Love it. Yeah. So when you do that, are you overstaffing the four so that, boom, you've got a fifth location? That is ideal. Yep. So we are really uh, intentional about building a bench and overstaffing the current location. So that way we get the right people on board. They get onboarded with Silver Lake and how we do things, our culture. And so that when we whether we start a brand new location or take over an existing location, uh, it's easy to kind of help infiltrate the, the Silver Lake auto culture and permeate that, that next location so that it's a very smooth onboarding system for that next location. Because our people know how to do things. We know how to do it the Slack way. We know that our number one fam, you know, core value is family, um, integrity, professionalism, hospitality, growth. So, and, and being able for them to have that onboarding process with one of our existing locations uh, really helps that process or will help that process is the goal. Yeah. So, you, so you've, you've already onboarded the fifth location. Not yet. September 1st. Well, I'm, I'm hypothetically oh, saying yeah. you've got them onboarded come August 1st, September 1st, grand opening, go to work. There is no onboarding. That, that would be the utopia of perfect, perfect onboarding. We all know that that doesn't always happen that way, but you know, and then that way it also doesn't cause strain on our existing employees and locations as well. Wow. Wow. That's a goal. Fingers crossed. Utopia. Well, and, and you're getting there. So, so you made a plan, you're crushing the plan. You're going to celebrate the plan. And if it doesn't work, we're going to make a new plan crush the new plan and celebrate the plan. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll keep on adapting. Learn, learn and grow, learn and grow. Okay, so uh, I, I'm like, what, what, what else to ask? Um, I, I'm blown away that th this works for you guys and it works so well. Yeah. Would, would you see this also working in, and I have two scenarios here, in a two shops that I'm gonna set up here. One that's a smaller shop, um, you know, four, five, six bays, two, three, four technicians. Does this work for a smaller shop as well? Why wouldn't it? I mean, they, like for us, need... for, I mean, we really love it because we get to have that control over our careers page uh, where you're not necessarily always paying the external company to make an edit or to keep it fresh and relevant with updating yeah. the pictures or kind of reformatting and reshifting our things around. So it's got that fresh perspective. Um, so we really love that, um, because we can, I mean, I can go into team Taylor, like right now and edit all sorts of different things and have it look complete, like a completely different careers page by the end of the day. Um, and that's like at no charge to us. Cause we just paid that one time subscription fee. Right. And the, the, it's a very reasonable, uh, price. I will say that it's, a, and it's a tr tremendous value for the price and the quality that you get. And then for recruiting process, I mean, I honestly love it because I put the right people in that job and, you know, Dan can see who we've got in the pipeline for all of our jobs or Matt can see who's coming in for technicians for another location. So it really helps get everybody on the same page with not necessarily being in everyone's business at all the time. Nice, nice. And, okay. and for, for me, and you know, like I can take a location manager saying like, hey, what are the next steps with this candidate? How'd it go? Um, so that they get an email notification saying like, oh yeah, I need to let Krista know to bring them this candidate back in for a second interview. Oh, I love it. That's very oh. cool. That's very cool. Okay. So, um, and Janelle, don't answer those too quickly. Cause I do want to answer some of these on, 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 and here with, uh, Krista. So Krista, uh, second scenario here is second scenario is a, a larger shop. Yeah. 10 bays, 15 bays, 17 bays. They've got six, seven, eight, ten technicians. Works for the that size of a shop as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got it. it 
team tailor works. And especially when you are working, I mean, like it's a tool that you invest in with your time and energy to build the careers page and to build your recruiting process. But okay. of course it's going to work for any site shop because if you, you're always going to need technicians and you're probably always going to need service advisors, unless you have like this amazing retention, which if you do, I would love to learn from you. Um, but you know, there's going to be a point where you, those people are retiring and you have to, you know, bring in the next crop of people and just to be able to build the relationship and to have those people in your pipeline. And like, there's stuff that I learned from Garrison again, like the whole drip marketing campaigns, like we need to tap back into that because we, oh, yeah. when we launched team Taylor in uh, probably, I think it was September, October, like we just haven't had time to circle back to doing those things because we've just been running full speed with recruiting and onboarding people. Which is also brilliant. So, all right, that's on the to-do list create the drips. Right. right. I, yeah. I, like I have like a list of like six things that I need to get working on in team Taylor from Garrison's presentation. So oh. uh, but there's just so much capacity for it. And, and whether you're single shop, three bays or single shop, eight, 17 eight bays or whatever, 25. Or shop, um, you know, it, it, the value is exceptional that you get with team Taylor and the return on investment is, it is exceptional for not only the candidate experience and the recruiting, but for your internal communication, yeah. uh, it's hands down worth the investment. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So a uh, question coming from Keith, Keith Brown in Salt Lake City, Utah. How I mean, has Silver Lake promoted the career page? Okay. Okay. So great question. So uh, we promoted on our social saying like, Hey, come check us out. Uh, yeah. We've also taken a very big step uh, in the LinkedIn and having a, a strong presence on that with a LinkedIn life page, but also um, po putting our careers page on the LinkedIn uh, page as well, saying if you're interested mm -hmm. in a career, or what it's like to be a part of the Silver Lake Auto family, come check out our, you know, what our careers page and learn more. And, and on our careers page, you can see that we've got the videos, we've got testimonials, we've got pictures, the less reading, the better. Uh, in my personal opinion, for, for your candidates. Um, we also cross promote it on, like I said, on LinkedIn, but also on our Indeed postings, we do list it there. We don't necessarily have them apply through Team Taylor um, Indeed, because for whatever, Indeed people just like to click apply now and have one button and done. Mm, but for mm -hmm. me, from a recruiting standpoint, since we do have the mul multiple funnels of our technical school candidates, our referrals from our and you know our current employees, Indeed and LinkedIn. Yeah. I'm able to streamline everything into Team Taylor into that you know location technician job posting that I have, and I'm able to see the different sources that they're coming in from. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, if your people love our organization, then they're gonna love Team Taylor because <laughs> it I helps. Make everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's super awesome. So. That's super. So, so you, you're promoting it mostly in the social media realm. Yeah. And then the careers page, but, but that doesn't yeah. inspire a good uh, thought where maybe we need to be posting it on our Google business pages. And I was going to ask, uh, do, yeah, have you done. done anything around the idea of Google ads? And I, and I wonder how you would target technicians with Google ads. Uh, I have not, but that's what we have a really good um, business actualization. I can ask them. If we there you go. <laughs> there you go. I'll just rely on the experts for that one. Cause that, Google yep. ads are out of my, my, my realm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Other questions, comments, concerns you've got my friends type them in. Let's ask these questions here. We've got Krista that uses the system and it uses yeah. it very well. Mm -hmm. and, and even using it very well, you're learning more things to, to do oh, that that you can do and and you've got a to-do list oh yeah to-do list yeah. for recruiting is lengthy which is exciting yeah yeah so here's an idea coming in from keith uh potentially you could use geofencing with the google ads yeah so now you draw a line around the wherever you're going to gather technicians from fill in the blank and yeah, yeah you could target technicians that way interesting yeah. yeah i'll just work with adam and joe on that and just be like you do whatever you need to do here. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love that. I yeah. love that. Keith, Craig, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the questions. Yeah. So, so awesome. I'm so, an open book. So what, you know, please feel free to ask questions. Yeah. 
And, uh, and Janelle, if there's anything else from your side that you want to add to it as well, please add it in here. And, and I know Craig's shop down in uh, Lucas, Texas, right by Allen, Texas, just outside of Dallas. Uh, he's got a great location, two buildings, a little bit separate, towing, digital mm -hmm. inspections, Great shop. He's he's getting air conditioning put into his shop. So anybody wants to move to Texas yeah. and have an air conditioned shop. Good job, Craig. That's going to be great. And that's going to be great for recruiting. That, yeah, I, I, I think mean, so. I mean, like literally put that on your careers page. Yeah, we have air conditioning. And, and literally put that on your, you know, on your job postings about what you have to offer. Yeah. 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 There you go, Craig. Do you know? Oh, I was just going to say it's been chilling. I'm in Austin, Texas, so not even the hottest part of Texas, but it's been like 105 this week. So the air conditioned shops, definitely a win. Yeah, definitely a win. We in St. George, Utah, we hit 114, 115 over the weekend. That's, a That's, That's painful. A bit, it's a bit warm. It's a bit warm. 16% humidity. So it feels like Orlando, Florida at 90 five degrees and 97 percent humidity it was pretty oh. ridiculous yeah. so I, I plan on uh cooking breakfast on the sidewalk this next weekend yeah <laughs> why because you can do that here oh gosh yeah thanks keith but it's a dry heat <laughs> like fire like a blowtorch who wants to stand in front of a blowtorch keith come on buddy <laughs> uh, awesome all right so uh, some final questions here for you, Krista. Yeah. If you had a magic wand, where would you use it in your job, in your business, in your shops, with your technicians? You have a magic wand. Yeah. You have one wish and you can't wish for more wishes. Yes. What are you going to do? Oh, man. From a recruiting? I don't I mean like that is like a loaded question. Um. I would like to get Silver Lake Auto opportunities and culture in front of every technician and service advisor in the greater Wisconsin, Northern Chicago area. Nice. I like Because I think a lot of people don't know that we exist or what we have to offer or maybe, you know, so, you know, some candidates be like, oh, you're an independent repair shop. Like, you know, like what's your book of business? And then they have no idea about really who we are and, and what we do and what we're all about. And so, um, yeah, to get our posting and our culture in front of every service advisor and technician and, and service manager uh, to know that we exist to serve them because they deserve better. That would be my magic wand. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I'm going to extend your magic wand out just a little bit further to say, Listen, uh, there's technicians in Florida that are working outside in 98 degrees yeah, and 97% right. humidity. Come to Wisconsin. It's gorgeous up here. Our summers, you can work outside and not lose 10 pounds a day. Right. Right. It's not 114 degrees, St. George. Come on up to Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, Economawak. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just, you know, we really want to attract the, attract the best talent. And, um, and whether, you know, wherever they come from nationwide, we, we'd love to have them be a part of our family. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. I appreciate that. Now, Janelle, the question is to you about the magic wand. You have a magic wand. You have one wish. What's your wish for the automotive industry? That is a great question. Now I feel how Krista felt when oh, she yeah, was right? on this thought. <laughs> I think that each automotive shop would be able to operate from a place of like comfort and almost like surplus with their employees instead of like scarcity. So that way, like Krista was saying a little bit earlier that you can make like good decisions, good fit decisions, not just hiring any, any body that's not going to be a good fit long-term. Yeah. I think that's, that's my wish. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Those are good wishes. Those are good wishes. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your participation. Krista, thank you for your, your experience, your expertise in this. Janelle, thank you for representing Team Taylor. Where can, where can we go to find out more about Team Taylor? 
Yeah, absolutely. So you, of course you can go to teamtaylor.com, which I'm sure everyone on this call has already Googled at least once. <laughs> um, you can also like reach out to me via email if you'd like, or connect with me on LinkedIn. Happy to share more of the good news of Team Taylor. Very cool. Very cool. And Krista, how does any technicians that are watching this, how do they connect? Because now they want to move to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, they can go on our careers page at silverlakeauto.com and, uh, or they can connect with me on LinkedIn. I, I, I'm, like I said, the professional extrovert. So I always love opening up my phone or my inbox to see who's connected and, you know, learn more about them and what they're looking for. Oh, that's so awesome. So. Awesome. Thank you to Silver Lake. Thank you to you, Krista. Thank you to Pleasure. Team Taylor. Thank you to you, Janelle. Thank you so much for your expertise and awesomeness today and always. Yeah. You guys are awesome. My name is Jimmy Lee. I am with the Institute. We are doing awesome and amazing things here in the industry. We want to help you. Reach out. We'd love to help you. Scan the QR code here and we'll get you a, a free business assessment to talk about areas of your business that can be quickly and easily uh, addressed and improved. This is my cell phone. This is my email. Reach out. Let's connect. My name is Jimmy Lee. Thank you very much.